let's talk about antiderivatives and why you have to add a plus c at the end of an indefinite integral. So let's say we have an equation like this and we want to find the derivative of this equation. Well, you can use the power rule on each one of these terms to give you 3x squared plus 10x and then the derivative of 30 is just going to be zero because anytime you have the derivative of a constant, it's going to give you zero. So this is going to be the answer right here. But now let's say we want to integrate this equation, which means taking the antiderivative. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll add one to the exponent and divide by that exponent on these two expressions here. Whenever you take the antiderivative without bounds, also known as the indefinite integral, you want to add a plus c. Now, why do we add a plus c? What does this plus c do? Well, this plus c is just accounting for the missing constant. Notice here that we have a negative 30, and notice here we have a plus c. So this c is equal to negative 30, which is what happened to the minus 30 when we lost it when we took the derivative. So this plus c just accounts for any missing constants, and if you didn't have this minus 30 right here, then your c equals 0. So no matter what the original equation is, you definitely want to make sure that you add a plus c. 